What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365Geek, and today I'm talking about Power Automate, I'm talking about expressions, and I'm going to talk about the index of expression in Microsoft Flow, or Power Automate, I'm still getting used to that. So, what is index of? Index of is a function where you can search a string and then return uh, the number of where that string begins. So let's take a look at what that is. So I'm in Power Automate here. Uh, I've got my manual trigger flow here with an input, and then I've got compose action down here. So in the compose action, I'll click into inputs, I'll go across to expression, and then look in the string functions, I'll click see more, I'll scroll down and find index of. So this is telling me the promises that I need to put in. So index of, I just need to put in some text and then search text. So that means what am I searching for in the, in the text? Um, you can also maybe see down here that, um, or if I hover over it, it says it returns the first index of a value with a string, which is the where the um, text begins. Uh, but it also says case insensitive, which means that it doesn't matter whether it's upper or lower case, it will just search it and find those string characters that you put in. So let's click this index of, and we can see it goes into the expression or the, the function editor at the top. If I click over to dynamic content, I can click the input here, so we're going to capture what is over here. I can just hard code in some values, but I want to use this input. Then I'm going to put a comma, and then for the text, I'm going to put it around single quotation marks, and we're going to write the word hello. So we're going to search for the word hello. And once I'm happy with that, um, we can click OK, and then we can test this. So I'm going to uh, click save and test. Uh, and in my input, I'm going to put my name is Matt. Hello. And then run the flow, click done. And here we can see that it's 17. So it's counted the number of characters between the start, uh, between the start of my text and the first point which it puts this in. So, um, so one, two, space, three, Four, five, six, seven, space is eight, nine, ten, space is eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, comma is sixteen, space is seventeen, and then hello begins. So we can see that that's working correctly. So this function will allow you to come back and give us an, an output of where these things begin. Now this could be particularly useful if you're trying to get a GUID out of a system, but you don't necessarily know where that GUID is. So you could uh, run a search where you know the last few characters that may always be unique to a URL. So you know the GUID will begin after that. You could then use this output to then use a split or some other function to find uh, the GUID pull that out and then you can use that later on. So it's got a lot of implications. It's also great that it's text insensitive as well, or case insensitive, meaning that it doesn't always need to match the same case and you can you know, search for things regardless of case. So I think that's great. What do you guys think? What do you guys use this for at the moment or do you use this at the moment? I'd like to know in the comments down below. Uh, if you've not contacted me yet, you can uh, find me on Twitter or LinkedIn. Uh, the comment, the um, links to that are at the end of the video. Uh, as always, if you could like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel, that would be great. And I'll see you next time.